Good morning everyone, my name is Cyprienne and today we will be making this really easy crochet headband. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make the twisted front of the headband and I'll also be showing you how to do this beautiful crochet stitch that is made only from single crochet and chain stitch. This headband is going to be worked widthwise, which means that we are starting with the height of the headband and you can just crochet as many rows as you need to get the exact size that you want to make. You just want to make sure that regardless of what size you're making, the beginning chain is always a multiple of two. So in otherwise, whatever number you crochet, you just want to make sure that you can divide it by two. I'll put up a sizing chart here and you can use that for a little guidance if you're not sure the exact size that you need to make. So just take note of the starting chain for whatever size you want to make and then we can get started. So for this demonstration, you're going to need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, need about 75 grams of chunky weight yarn. Also, keep in mind that depending on the yarn that you choose, it will change or could change the height of the headband. So choose whatever yarn you want, even if it's a worsted weight or super bulky, and all you need to do is adjust the striking chain accordingly. Again, make sure that it's kept as a multiple of two. A tapestry needle because we are going to be sewing the ends together and that is how we're going to create the twisted front of the headband and of course we need them to weave an ends scissors and a measuring tape is also going to be really important um, when making this headband because we need to measure as we go to make sure that we get the exact size that we need so just pause the video take a moment gather those up and then we're going to jump right in and get it started Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing, of course, is creating our slip knot. And then we are going to be chaining 16 stitches. So we can go ahead and do that. And I'll meet up with you so that we can start row one. For row one, we're going to be working a single crochet into the second chain from the hook and each chain across. So at the end of row one, we are actually going to have 15 stitches. So can go ahead and work that row and we'll meet up for row two, which is when we start our texture. So we'll see you there. So now at the end of row one, we're just gonna work a single crochet in that last stitch. And then we're gonna be chaining one and turning our work. Now working directly into the first stitch, we're gonna work one single crochet, followed by two chain stitches, followed by one single crochet worked right back into that same stitch. We're gonna skip over one and work in the third stitch, working one single crochet, followed by two single crochets, Oops. and one single crochet right back into the same stitch. So this is the same pattern that we're gonna work all the way across, skipping one stitch and then working that pattern of one single crochet, two chains, one single crochet back into the same stitch. So just work across to the end and we'll meet up and continue on. Okay, so we're just going to finish off row two by working one single crochet. If I can get my hook through. <laughs> followed by two chain stitches. Followed by one single crochet into that very last stitch. Then we're going to be chaining one and turning. Then work directly into that chain two space there. Start working the exact same pattern of one single crochet. Followed by two chain stitches. Followed by one single crochet into the chain two space. Then you're going to skip over to the next two ch chain two space. And do one single crochet followed by chain two chains followed by one single crochet into that chain two space so you're going to continue to work that pattern all the way along into all those chain two spaces and you should have eight of those all together so then we'll meet up at the end here we'll just finish off with one single crochet followed by two chains one single crochet into that last chain two space so this is actually our pattern repeat for the entire headband. So we're just going to chain one and turn exactly like in row two and continue to work this pattern until the headband reaches the length that you want. Once we're done, we'll meet up and 
finish off the headband and I'll show you how to sew it together to create that twisted look with the turns. Okay, so I finished the final row of my headband. Mine measures about 19 inches, but as I mentioned, yours may be different. So we're just gonna end chaining one and turning. By working in all those chain two spaces this time, all we're gonna be doing is placing two single crochets into each chain two space. And that's just gonna create a nice even edge for when we wanna sew the short ends together. So just find those spaces, continue working two single crochets all the way across, and then we'll meet up and uh, create the twist. Okay, so I have finished my last row of single crochets. Just uh, fasten off leaving a really long tail so that we have lots of yarn to sew those ends together. Okay, so what we're going to do now is fold the short ends together and we're going to actually be folding each end in half. Then we're going to insert them so that it forms almost like an S shape, almost like two little mouths grabbing each other. So just make sure that all the edges are all lined up together because that's what we're going to be sewing through. So you want to make sure that when you look at it from the side, they are nice and even. So using our yarn needle, we're going to start from the very edge and start sewing those together, making sure that you're patching all four layers as you go. So just work that way all the way to the end, and then we'll flip the headband right side out. So the last thing we're going to do here is weave in the ends and turn it right side out, and it is done. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these videos next. And until next time, bye-bye.